Hi everyone and welcome to this my video on angles and triangles, really? Year 9 and above? Yes, absolutely. We are going to investigate angles and triangles and parallel lines and so much more. And don't get tricked, uh, or, or they are going to trick you, because lots of these questions can get really quite tricky. So I'm going to sort of give you a lot of examples that are going to scaffold you um, to sort of smash any other example you come up with. Now, I'm Darren from Maths Guru. Thanks very much for finding me. Uh, all of the stuff I'm going to write on behind me, you can download and uh, write all over as summary notes or what have you. The videos are all there in order and so, so much more. And uh, before I get started, uh, if you can just do me the honor of subscribing to my YouTube channel. That very, very small thing from you is massive for me. At the end of the day, when I want to get three extra subscribers. I get a little bit sad, really, or a little bit excited um, because Doing these videos I love. I love doing these videos and uh, no one ever really turns around and goes, hey dude, yeah, thanks very much. And uh, so the best way you can do that is just subscribing, all right? And needy, yes. But um, yeah, please, if you can, that'd be great. Right, I'm not gonna talk about the learning objectives. They are there for you to know what you are gonna be doing. But long story short, it's just gonna build on the idea of angles and triangles and the language all behind it because it's the language that tends to trip people up. Now, it's not really new, right? This isn't stuff you've not met before, but maybe the language is. And so my advice probably would be to write all of this into your summary book. Yes, or, or download the notes or take a screen grab or whatever and then download it. A ray is a straight line which extends from a point to infinity and beyond. I love that. It's Buzz like me. I'm going to put Buzz in here one day, all right? But a ray is basically, it starts here and then it extends to infinity and beyond. That's a ray. A line is a set of points which continue. Yes, again, you could argue that a line, but a line, I think, goes to infinity and beyond both ways. A line segment is a section of that straight line, all right? So this little bit here is a section. Uh, an acute angle, I always used to say it's an angle that's cute, so lovely, uh, between 0 to 90 degrees, a right angle 90 degrees, a straight angle. Oh, it's a straight angle. A straight angle, it's a line. Right, but anyway, welcome to Australia with a strange, yeah? So on a straight line, 180 degrees. What else have we got here? A reflex angle is anything between 180 and 360 degrees. A revolution, otherwise known as a circle, um, is 360 degrees. The ones I never remember are complementary and supplementary angles, right? So complementary angles add up to 90, supplementary add up to 180 degrees. And I will forget in three slides time, I promise you. Right, there are certain types of triangles, and hopefully by this point you will know what those triangles are. One of the great things I want to point out is the notation we use. Notice here we've got a dot, a star, and a square. Now they basically are telling us that because none of those shapes are the same, that the, none of the angles are the same size, right? So again, just pick up on those type of things, and if the angles aren't the same side, then the, 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 the sides won't either. And so this triangle here is called a scalene, all right? So where all the sides and all the angles are different. These two little lines here tell us that these two sides are the same length. There's nothing on this side here, so I don't know how long that is. All I know is those two sides are the same. And I tend to think of those lines as having an arrow on the end of them, pointing to the angles that are also the same. So if there are two sides the same length, two angles will be the same length as well, or the two si uh, angles will be the same size. So that triangle is called an isosceles. Now again, I remember the spelling of that is I, S-O-S, as in help, S-O-S, help me, and then Celes, all right, as in Celes, no idea, all right, that's the bit you've got to remember how to spell. So that's isosceles, and then the other one you'll notice is they've all got these single lines, which say that all of those three sides are the same length, all of the three angles are the same size, and that is an equilateral triangle. But what we've got to notice is that angles inside a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So sorry if you already know this stuff, but again, this is where the stuff gets interesting. So exterior, if I was currently exterior to here, I would be outside, and that makes no sense in the English language at all. But exterior means an angle outside. So we have interior angles, those angles here, that angle there, and that angle there, and that angle there would be interior, because they are inside my triangle. An exterior angle would sit outside my triangle. And what you notice is that they actually extend one of the sides of the triangle out. So we've taken this side length, and we've just extended it out, and that's created this exterior angle. And again, I suppose the trick here is that this adds to 180 degrees, isn't it, yes? So this here 
adds to 180 degrees. But something that's really useful, really interesting to notice is that actually, if I was to take this angle here and this angle here and add them together, I'm actually gonna get the size of my exterior angle, right? That's really, really useful and a bit of a shortcut. You can still work things out by the hard way by actually doing this plus this and take it away from 180 to get this angle here and then do 180 minus that to give you this angle here. But a shortcut is actually quite useful that this exterior will be the sum of those two angles there. Hmm, I like that. Supplementary and complementary angles, here we go again. Right, so I'm just gonna try and remember this. So complementary is 90 degrees, supplementary is 180 degrees. And the way I've now remembered that is that C is earlier in the alphabet, and S is later, and 90 and 180 are different sizes. Anyway, right, angle of size 47 degrees, determine its supplementary angle. So supplementary would be 180 degrees minus 47 degrees, which would give me 133 degrees, I think. And let's just check that. 180 minus 47 does in fact give me 133. What about its complementary angle? Then that would be 90 degrees minus 47 degrees, which would give me 43 degrees. And I'm just going to check that because I hate making mistakes on here. Uh, 43 degrees just because of my bad mental maths. Oh, I didn't say I was good at mental maths. Everything else, okay. Mental maths, not so much. Yeah, so supplementary and complementary, just language you need to know. Name the types of triangles shown here and determine the value of the pronumerals. All right, well, there we go. So this now comes down to these little lines on the sides of the triangle. There's a line, there's a line, and there's a line. It is telling me that all three sides of those are the same. So I know that that triangle there is an E-Q-U-I-L-A-T-E-R-A-L, -E -E equilateral triangle. Well, if the three sides are the same, then we know that the angles are all the same. So X in that situation would have to be 60 degrees. ka -ching. What about this one here? Well, I've got a mark here and a mark here. That's telling me the two sides here and here are the same. And I think of them as pointing to the angles in the corners that are the same. So that angle there and that angle there are the same. All right, well, if we know this is 120 degrees, oh, got to write that down first. It's an isosceles. And to be able to find these two angles, I'm going to do 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, which gives me 60 degrees. Now, again, what we now know is that this angle here and this angle here added together give me 60. They are both the same size, so therefore, R is 30 degrees. What about this angle here? Uh, sorry, triangle here. Well, we've got one mark there, two marks here, and three marks here. Uh, all the sides are the different length, so we now know that that's called a scalene triangle, and we know that all the angles added together must be 180 degrees. What have I got here? I've got 50 and 60, which is 110. So if I do 180 minus 110, it gives me 70 degrees, and therefore S is equal to 70 degrees, right? So again, looking at the visual cues in the question, really quite important, finding exterior angles. And now looking at this one here, finding exterior angles, well, we can use our little rule that we had earlier that said that this angle here is the sum of those two angles there. So we know that Y is gonna be equal to, well, that's 90 degrees, and that's 55 degrees, so Y is gonna be 145 degrees. Alternatively, we could have done it in a different way. We know that the angles in this triangle add up to 180 degrees, so we could have found this angle here to be, well, 180 minus the 90, minus the 55. So 180 minus 90 minus 55 gives me 35 degrees. That means that this angle here is 35. And because it's on a straight line, we know that these two must add to 180 degrees. So again, if I did 180 minus the 35, funnily enough, it's gonna give me 145. So there's no right way or wrong way of doing this, but okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, this is interesting. Right. Got a tri what have we got here? We've got a triangle. We know two sides are the same length. My arrows are pointing there. So this angle here and that angle there are the same. So I now can write that that's 47 degrees. I know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I can now find this angle here. So if I do 180 minus 47 minus 47, that's gonna give me 180 minus 47 minus 47, 86 degrees. All right, so we now know that this angle here is 86 degrees. Now I'm gonna use a bit of a shortcut because we know that where we've got two lines that are crossing, 
these angles here are exactly the same. Do you remember that from a previous year? Yep, that's called opposite angles. So in which case I now know that X is equal to 86 degrees. And believe it or not, that was a really short introduction to triangles and angles, yes? Really, once you know that the angles inside a triangle are 180 degrees, there's not too much we can do, but you've just got to keep an eye out for those little signs on the side. Well, I'm done for this video. I'm going to record some more. So hopefully I'll see you in one of those. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you can. Head over to Maths Guru where all this stuff behind me you can download and write all over. Um, it's absolutely free to sign up and hopefully I'll see you in another video. If not, take care, stay safe.